is uh, unlikely to get power creep fast because of how uh, useful they're going to be in the long run. Hello there! Today we have a redo journal concerning Shinji, Shinji, uh, which is going to be the next character in 1.1 of Zenless Zone Zero. Very interesting. So let's have a look at these. Redo journal. <clears throat> As the old saying goes, know your enemy and know yourself and you will never be defeated. Fully understanding the strength of both yourself and your enemy is an important part of preparation before an operation. What kind of combat secret does Shinji, Zhu Yuan's ace partner, possess? This video journal special will reveal all. Aha! Uh, okay, open? Yeah, I don't know what this is. She can apply days to his teammate and fill the void to beat down opponents. So obviously she's going to be a stunner. Shinji, cleansed by the sense of time, not only possesses wealth of worldly wisdom, but also has refined her combat skills. Cleanse by the sense of time. I wonder what this means. It's very ominous. I mean, she seems to be a robot, right? With the AMP things in the story. Spoiler alert, my bad. Um, but I don't know what this means in relation to her story. Shinyi possesses the stun specialty. There it is. She accumulates days with different attack and unleashes a special charge basic attack to stack stun damage multiplier. Additionally, increasing all squad members' stun damage multiplier. Shinyi's stun damage multiplier is effective with any type of attack, allowing her to coordinate perfectly with most agents. She becomes even more powerful when fighting alongside a teammate with the attack specialty, which provides a damage bonus against stunned enemies. So what's absolutely interesting here... Uh, first of all, she's gonna power creep, obviously, um, MB uh, as a electric stunner, right? But here she, she becomes even more powerful when fighting alongside a teammate with the attack specialty. Does that just mean, A, you should pair her as a stunner with an attack, or does that mean that the core passive is going to be activated by a teammate being of the attack specialty? I'm not sure. This could just be a weird wording of them. Uh, but yeah, it is what it is. Here we have formidable force, agile, and swift tactics. During combat, Shinye can perform agile and swift strikes against the enemy, giving her teammates a great opportunity to reclaim the momentum when the enemy is unable to parry. Okay, so she just has fast attack. Fair enough. Uh, the most important thing here to me is the... the fact that she can um, stack stun damage multiplier um, with a charge basic attack. That's very cool. Uh, and then finally here we have Chinyu remains calm and collected in changing situation, quickly diffusing danger with ease. When Chinyu is attacked while performing a special charging basic attack, charge basic attack, she unleashes her finishing strike, triggering a perfect dodge, and stacking stun damage multiplier to bring a devastating blow to the enemy. Does that mean she has a counter attack? Yeah, while she if she is attacked while performing a special, she unleashes it. Okay, with someone so experienced, I'm sure that solving case and hunting daily operation will be a lot easier and more efficient. Um, yeah, okay, very intriguing. Um, not a lot of information. I kind of wish we had more here, but that's like a little, um, uh, a little view into what she's going to be able to do. We can see some of her animations in there. Uh, she's looking cool. She's looking very strong. MB in shambles, pretty much. I agree. I agree with that. I think she's going to be very good. The problem I have is that my resources are limited. I'm probably going to have to uh, be saving for Jane Doe. But she looks to be very strong. And I think as a stunner, she uh, is unlikely to get power quite fast. Because of how uh, useful they're going to be in the long run. And uh, yeah, if you don't have Lycan, if you don't have Coleda, I think she's going to be a must pull. If you want, if you already have Lycan or Coleda, that means you have them plus MB, and you should be good enough. If you want an upgrade to MB, you can go for her. She's uh, clearly going to be better. Um, that said, I don't think you absolutely need her. Uh, but yeah, if you don't have some of those five star permanent characters uh, of the stun specialty, try to get her. She is going to be insane. Anyway. 
thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you intend to pull for her, if you intend to instead skip and try to get Jane Doe. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, we get some new information really soon. Bye!